Hello, and welcome back to Intentional Living. I am your host, Shannon Moore, and today I'll be coming to you with DIY Valentine's Day Tablescape Series, Part 4. We're going to be making this lovely decanter to go with the rest of everything that's going to be on the table for my husband and I for Valentine's Day. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Click that bell too so you don't miss another video. Now this decanter I got from my aunt years ago, years, 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 years ago. I have been using it, um, never thought of really decorating it, but I knew that I wanted more on the table for my husband and I. So I thought what a better time to redo this decanter. So I'm just gonna be painting this one, I know I have the glitter in the Mod Podge in this video, but I'm not going to be doing glitter in Mod Podge in this video. I'm just going to be painting and decorating with my bling wrap. And um, all the materials that I will be using in this video will be listed in the description box below. So check that out. So first I cleaned off the outside of my decanter and then I went in with some painter's tape. I cut it in half so that it'd be a little bit smaller or a little thinner for me to deal with. You can buy it this thin out of Walmart, but um, I was in Dollar Tree, I picked it up and I mean it's not that much more work to cut it in half to use it. So that's what I'm doing here. I am outlining all of the areas where I'm going to be applying my purple acrylic paint because I don't want to paint the entire piece. I just want to paint parts of it. So the look that I'm going for, I'm really excited to see it all come together and I hope you guys like it. So stay tuned and see where we go from here. This process was a little tedious because I wanted to make sure that my lines were straight and I wanted to make sure that everything was symmetric on both sides. So I took my time, measured it out. And the great thing about the painter's tape is you can pick it up and move it. It doesn't leave a residue behind. Um, it doesn't stick. It's, it holds long enough for you to get the job done and then it's super easy to remove. So I enjoy working with the painter's tape.
after I'm done applying all of my painters tape I'm just gonna give it a nice tough brush with my fingers just to make sure that it is attached down everywhere especially where it's going to meet the acrylic paint I don't want the paint to seep underneath the painters tape so I'm applying pressure to that Whenever you're applying paint to a surface that is, that's got grooves in it, like the decanter that I'm using today, you want to make sure that you get the paint in those grooves as well. If you just brush your sponge or brush across it, you're going to miss a lot of spaces. So make sure you take the time to use the tip of the brush and just dab in between in the grooves so you make sure that everything is covered. Now that I've got my first layer of purple acrylic paint on there, I am going to sit that to the side and let it dry. I am taking it back to my champagne flutes, you guys. We talked about this in my last video about me adding um, my husband and I's initial to the front of the glass and it's been sitting up um, on my desk, I keep walking by it and I, in my mind I just keep seeing the initials. So I'm going back in to make those. I printed out the letters that I wanted to use and the font that I wanted to use and the size. Um, as you can see on the, on the sheet that's still laying down there, I tried one size. It was just too small. I wanted something bigger. So I went back and printed another sheet and this is the size that I came up with. Now I'm taking my painter's tape again and I'm applying the painter's tape to the back of the letter that I'm going to be applying to the glass so that I can stick the paper to the inside of the glass as you can see I'm doing right here. Once that's good and set and I've got the placement like I like it, I'm going to go in with my metallic painter's pen. It's like literally paint and it's dishwasher safe. So I found this in Walmart. Um, they have them in tons of different colors. I saw them in gold. I saw them in red, blue. Didn't see them in purple though. So sad. So I'm going to go in with my silver um, painter's pen and I'm going to trace out the print that I chose for our glasses. I was really excited to do this, you guys. This was my second time trying this method on a project and I love how it turns out. Make sure that before you use your pen, you give it a really good shake and also press it down on something. I used the newspaper that I'm working with so that you can make sure that the paint is flowing through the pen before you start your project.
You guys, I had had like three cups of coffee before I started this project and my hands were so shaky. I was so jittery. <laughs> I had a lot to do this particular day, so I was trying to make sure I stayed energized. Um, so the lines didn't turn out as clean as I wanted them to. So what I did was I went in with a Q-tip and some acetone and I just wiped away the imperfections in the letters that I was drawing on the glass. Three cups of coffee in one day, never again. I did get everything done though. Alright, so I'm done with those and I'm going back into my decanter now that my first layer of paint is dry. And just looking at it, you can tell what areas you need to touch up. You can repaint the entire piece again if you like, but I'm just retouching up areas where I can still see through the glass, where I can still see streaks of where paint did not hit on the, on the decanter glass. So I'm just going in with my Mod Podge paint and brushing over those areas to make sure that I cannot see through the glass where I've applied the, the paint. I only want to see through it where I have taped it off with the painter's tape. All right, everyone, now I'm going in to try something new. The top of my decanter was broken from it being dropped a few times. Um, so I needed to make a new top for the decanter. I tried to pull it off with the one that it already came with, but I just couldn't make it work, um, not with it being so broken. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm taking a cap that has a cork attached to it from another bottle that I had on hand that I will be decorating later. I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's not gonna have a top. Anyway, I am just going to take my Fix All Adhesive Glue that I got from the Dollar Tree and my hot glue gun, and I'm going to go in and make essentially a big crystal cluster on the top of this piece to use it as my top to my decanter. I'm really hoping that this turns out well. Um, one thing that I wish that I would have done differently was I wish that I would have painted the top black piece um, because once it's all put together, you can see the black through the crystals. So that was one piece that I underestimated was painting this, I should have painted this piece, a silver or a purple. I could have painted it purple. That would have gave it a nice pop of purple on the top um, seeping through the crystals. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going in with my fix all glue, my hot glue gun, and my crystal gems, and I'm going to be attaching them to this piece to make a nice crystal cluster on top.
So now that I've got my base pretty much figured out, I'm just going to keep putting them together and keep stacking them on top of each other using my hot glue gun and E6000. This part of the project ended up being a lot easier than I anticipated it to be. The crystal gems, they just literally like fell in place and just melted into the glue and everything fell together perfect just as I was expecting it to be. In the little spots where I'm sticking my fingers, I'm just going to take my fix all adhesive glue and squeeze it down in there just to make sure everything is attached and going to stay attached. I just love this cluster of gems. It's so pretty. Okay, so all of our paint is dried and now it's time to remove the painter's tape. Always remember that when you are removing painter's tape, pull it away from the paint. That's my oldest son. He always comes in to remind you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Thumbs up. As usual, I wouldn't worry too much about where there are imperfections in the lines because we're going to go in with our diamond bling ribbon and cover all those imperfections up. At the front, I was cleaning off with my finger because I didn't want any purple to be on the outside of my bling ribbon when I applied it. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna go in with our diamond bling ribbon. I've cut off some single strands and I'm just gonna be applying those in the grooves of the decanter. And at this point, it's really up to you how you want to decorate your decanter. Be creative, tap into your innovation and have fun with it. Thank you. 
This part took quite a bit of time to finish because it was so many single strands, so many grooves, but the finished product is well worth the time. After doing these two strands, I realized I should have started working from the outside in, meaning I should have did the long sides first and then went in and filled in on the grooves. Doing it this way, I was able to ensure that all of the pieces met together perfectly. So here I'm going in and I'm gonna do the outside perimeter first, the parts that go down the sides of the bottom. and already it is coming together beautifully. I'm gonna go in with my flat back gems and apply them to the bottom of the glass that I think looks like a pineapple. So I refer to it as the pineapple. <laughs> I'm applying the flat back gems to the point of the pineapples all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna repeat this process on the opposite side of the bottle. Now that I'm all done decorating and I've used my Windex to clean the glass, I'm going to put the top on top of my decanter and that is it. I wanted to add a letter M on this. Our last name is Moore, like I did the champagne flutes, but I couldn't get the paper inside the glass, so that didn't work out. All right, you guys, I am all done. Look how gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love how it came together. It came out better than what I expected. Um, the champagne flutes are even more beautiful with the initials on there. And I also went in and added some flat back gems to the tips of each letter on those champagne flutes. I absolutely love how this came together. I will be using this quite often. Please remember you guys, like, subscribe, and share me with family and friends. So great to have you guys here with me today. And I cannot wait to hear from you in the comment section below. God is love. Good night.